These arpeggios can be used over any chord progression, so it's a very good idea to look at the 12-bar blues to try these over. So let's look at an F blues. Now let's talk about the chord changes and what they are, then we can talk about how we're going to use the arpeggios over them. So the chords are F7 or F9 for one measure, then we go to a B-flat 13 for one measure, then back to F9 for one measure, then we're going to play F7 sharp 9 for one measure, then B flat 13 or B flat 7 for two measures, then to F9 for one measure, then down to D7 sharp 9, then G minor 7 or G minor 11, to C7 altered or C7 sharp 9. Now for the turnaround, F13 to D7 sharp 9, G minor 7, C7 sharp 9. So it's F7, 2, 3, 4, B flat, F7, F7 sharp 9, 2, 3, 4, B flat 13 for two measures. F9 down to D7, sharp 9, G minor 7 to C7, sharp 9, turn around, F13, D7, sharp 9, G minor 7, C7, sharp 9, back to the top. So that's a 12-bar blues in F. Now this is not your traditional 1-4-5 blues. This is adding some chords. So this is typically called a jazz blues. Uh, when we add that F7 sharp 9 going to the B flat, and also when we add that D7 sharp 9 to the progression, that makes it more of a jazz blues. That's what people usually refer to it as. Okay, so let's talk about how to improvise over this. Now, we have a lot of options, but let's talk about how to uh, take a few of these 212 shapes and apply them to this to uh, help you improvise. So let's start with the F7 chord. Now, 2121 arpeggios can be started on any string, so if we're looking at the F9 here, we could start one on the fifth string. You just go two notes, one on the next string, two notes, one. So here's a nice one for F7. That's a great sound for the F9 chord. Then we're going to move on to the B flat 7. Now when you're looking at this B flat 7, uh, this can fall into that Mixolydian category, so you can use any of those arpeggios that we discussed. You could use this, or this, or you could even use a substitute, which would be a D minor 7 flat 5, and make a 2-1-2 arpeggio off of that. So we have F7, B flat 7, then we go back to F7, then the F7 sharp 9. I'm going to play this arpeggio. That is is a 2-1-2-1 two, one, two, one arpeggio for the altered scale. Now this is an F7 sharp 9, so I'm going to use those altered tones. So what I do is I go up a half step from the chord and I play a minor major 7 arpeggio. It looks like this. Sounds great over that chord. Then back to B flat 7, and we use the same examples that I showed before, then back to F7, now down to D7. Now I can use the same arpeggio that I just used over that F7 altered, so I can just move it down to D7, go up the half step, and play minor major 7. Okay. Now we move on to G minor, I can use G minor pentatonic of those. I can use G Dorian sounding arpeggios. Any of those choices that we have. 
Then we have a C7, again, the sharp nine. So we're going to use that same device that we talked about earlier. Go up a half step and play a minor major seven. Then to our F7. D7. G minor. C7 altered. F. That's some of the arpeggios that I'm going to use when I improvise over this progression. Now we have a backing track for this progression, and I'm going to just solo a little bit. And in my soloing, you're going to see that I'm using some of these arpeggios that we just discussed. <laughs> 